Hi, I'm Marcus Weaver Hightower, professor at the University of North Dakota, and I'm pleased to present a Pecha Kucha on how to make a Pecha Kucha. It's a meta Pecha Kucha, if you will. In this video, I'll talk about what a Pecha Kucha is, how to plan one, set it up in a slideshow program, and deliver it. Put simply, a Pecha Kucha is a slideshow with a very strict length. Each Pecha Kucha is exactly 20 slides, each of which stays on the screen for exactly 20 seconds, before advancing automatically. It's meant to be a format that forces the pres uh, presenter to get onto the point and not linger on long, boring slides. Pecha Kucha Nights began in Tokyo, Japan in 2003 by a couple of architects. The name comes from the Japanese word for chit-chat. As they say on the official website, pechakucha.org, they started this format because anyone set in front of a slideshow, particularly architects, will talk too much. They wanted presenters to get to the point fast. Pechacucha Nights have become quite popular around the world. Pechacucha.org says they're held as trademarked events in about 700 cities around the world. They're held in bars, civic spaces, classrooms, universities, and more. It's their informal nature and the sharing of passionate ideas that's really made them popular. The best thing to do to start planning a Pecha Kucha presentation is to go and watch some actual Pecha Kuchas. PechaKucha.org curates some of the best out there, so start with that site. You're also watching one now, of course, and though I'm not an expert on the form, this can give you an idea of what you can do. Because a Pecha Kucha is so tightly structured, it's key to plan out what you're going to say. You can't just wing it. You might start with a table or outline like the one you see here, actually scripting out slide by slide what you'll say and what the audience will see. Of course, you can do the organization in lots of different ways. Sticky notes, note cards, huge butcher paper on the wall, whatever works for you. The key is whittling the idea down to the essence because 20 slides for 20 seconds each isn't nearly as long as you might think. It's less than seven minutes. When it's time to actually make slides, and I suggest you save making slides until after you're done planning, there are several things to consider. The first is making the presentation graphics heavy. Pictures, particularly when well chosen and produced, can grab the audience's attention and drive home your points. That brings me to the next design consideration, text. Try to keep text to a minimum. Long passages are really hard to read and they distract your audience members from paying attention to you while they read it. The best practice is to keep text short and make sure it's visible. Stick to the main ideas, even if they aren't full sentences. Simplicity might also be advisable in another design consideration, animation. Modern presentation software can do all sorts of fancy animation and transitions. You can have things flying all over the place. Keep in mind, though, that these can distract from the message, so keep those things to a minimum. Once you've got an outline and a design for your slides, it's time to set the slideshow up in your presentation software. I'll show you how to do both PowerPoint setup and Keynote for Mac setup. Before you start, though, take some time to gather images then create the actual slides. After that, it's time to set your presentation software to advance those slides automatically. In PowerPoint for PC or Mac, select the first slide in the sidebar, then click the Transitions tab in the ribbon, choose a simple transition, then click the box besides After under Advanced Slides section, type in 20 seconds, then click the icon for Apply to All to make the timing apply to all your slides. A tiny icon should appear in the sidebar. Keynote for Mac is similar to Setup. Select all your slides, click for the Animate menu, click for Add Effect, then choose a simple transition. In the contextual menu below, click to pull down the menu for Start Transition and choose Automatically. Enter 20 seconds in the Delay text box. If you're successful, a blue triangle shows up in the thumbnails for the slides. You can also set up a Pecha Kucha to work in other presentation software. Prezi is very popular, but beware of too much moving and zooming around. If you have an iPad, you might also consider trying Haiku Deck. It's got great built-in simplicity and integrated image search.
As you make the slides, it's a good idea to practice what you'll say, just to make sure the timing and order of the slides is what you want. And then, of course, if you're going to present live rather than in a recording, practice is a must. If you get the timing wrong, the slides are still going to go on without you. Practice with a stopwatch to make sure that doesn't happen. What you're likely to find in preparing your Pecha Kucha is that shorter is better. With only 20 seconds to present an idea, you've got to be succinct. But when you're passionate and knowledgeable about a topic, of course, that's hard to do. You have to get very practiced at revising down, cutting out things that aren't absolutely crucial. Once you've practiced and practiced and practiced, it's time to deliver the Pecha Kucha. Most are delivered live. In delivering a Pecha Kucha live, there's some do's and don'ts very similar to any kind of presentation. The biggest thing is stick to the script. Don't rush and don't start adding too much extemporaneous commentary. Pecha Kucha is all about timing. Also, try to engage the audience. Use eye contact, which will come with practice, rather than reading a script. Also, try to use inflections and hand gestures to convey the passion and knowledge you have about the subject. Nothing's quite so boring as hearing someone drone on in a monotone. You can also deliver a Pecha Kucha online by video, just like I'm doing now. Presentation software often can record a digital movie of the presentation, or you can use screen or lecture capture software like Adobe Presenter to make the video. These can then be uploaded to an online course site or sites like Vimeo or YouTube. Just make sure you use those same engagement strategies. Thanks for watching this Pecha Kucha about making Pecha Kuchas. I hope you understand better what it's all about and how to do it. Please contact me if I can be of further help.